गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके वेरी गुड नाउ इज द सेशन ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडी ओके इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लेवल्स लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन दैट वेरी सेशन वी केम टू नो दैट the management of an organization is divided into three levels top level middle level and lower level what functions are performed by these levels we have discussed in detail separately okay now once again children come to the basic point and that is management when we talk about management then it refers to the entire span or the group of people engaged in managerial activities okay so management does not refer to an individual person rather it refers to all those persons who are engaged in managerial activities okay now in general we can say the management in any organization performs five basic functions which are called functions of management okay and in this session we shall discuss about these five functions of management okay these five functions are planning organizing staffing directing and controlling okay as management is also defined as a process of planning organizing staffing directing and controlling so let us discuss the first function of management first and that is planning okay children when we say planning as a function of management then it refers to a process of deciding in advance the future course of action okay that means which activities will be undertaken in future for accomplishment of the goals if these activities are decided in advance then it will be called as planning or you can say planning involves the decisions like what to do how to do when to do and by whom is to be done okay under planning in fact the management moves from the present position to the position of future where it wants to reach okay thus the planning is made by management to achieve goals and objectives okay while making plan the management has to follow some important steps that means there are some important steps involved in planning function of management okay what are these important steps involved in planning these steps are first of all determining objectives second developing premises third identifying alternative courses of action fourth evaluating different alternative courses of action which have been identified selecting an alternative course of action and after that implementation of the plan and finally follow up action to see whether 
plan is being implemented properly or not okay thus when management chalks out a plan it has to pass through these steps it has to take these steps for formulation of a plan okay in fact management begins from planning okay all right you know children whatever is decided under planning to achieve it an organizational setup has to be made okay that means a structure of superior subordinate relationship or a structure of authority and responsibility in the organization has to be developed okay thus the second important function of management is supposed to be organizing okay then the question arises what is called organizing organizing is a process of arranging different activities of the organization in a systematic order by distributing authority and responsibility among the organizational personals and by establishing superior subordinate relationship you know children what happens in organizing in fact different roles are created to be played by different types of people who are required to perform in the organization okay so while performing organizing function the management gives a stress on making clear the post and positions of the organization and in organizing function also some steps are involved the steps involved in organizing function are first of all identification and classification of work okay second one is grouping of the activities and departmentalization okay third one is assignment of duties of organizational personals to organizational personals and after it establishing superior subordinate relationship okay therefore by taking these four steps the management performs its organizing function that helps in utilizing the organizational resources effectively and efficiently and achieving the goals and objectives successfully okay this is the organizing function after that the number of a staffing comes as discussed a few few minutes ago that different posts and positions are created through organizing function and different roles are also fixed to be played by different type of people thus a group of persons is required to play different roles of the organization thus the next important function after organizing a starts and that is called a staffing okay what is a staffing then a staffing in fact is a process of fulfilling different post and positions of the organization with competent personals through the process of recruitment selection training and development etc etc okay in fact a staffing is manning of the organization 
which means since a staffing helps in acquiring the human resource and developing them into human capital for the organization therefore this staffing function also involves some of the major steps okay what are the major steps involved in it first of all the management estimates manpower requirement means estimation of manpower requirement after it the process of recruitment starts as soon as the process of recruitment is over then the process of selection begins and through selection the competent persons are selected to play different roles of the organization okay after selection there happens training and development of the selected personals okay and when they are trained and developed then their performance appraisal is done and after performance appraisal there is next step and that is promotion and career planning okay and after promotion and career planning the compensation is decided to be paid to that employee that selected personnel okay so we find that under a staffing function many steps are involved because the most competent person eligible person and experienced person or energetic person has to be appointed at different posts of the organization okay till now i have discussed planning organizing and staffing the remaining two functions i would like to discuss tomorrow okay thank you today and which are not included and then do the problems okay children one thing i have forgotten to discuss and that is about net export you know children net export is the difference between exports and imports the second important precaution is that the expenditure on second hand goods okay like on purchase of second hand car second hand uh, refrigerator etc is not included in national income accounting according to expenditure method okay why because the expenditure on these goods already has been counted for the national income of that year in which these goods were produced okay so any expenditure on second hand goods is not a part of national income however if expenditure has been made on commissions paid for this transfer then the commission paid will be included in national income okay the next one is expenditure on transfer payment transfer payments are a scholarship old age pension unemployment allowance etc so if the government makes expenditure on these transfer payments then it is not a part of national income that means income uh, that means expenditure on transfer payment will not be included in estimation of national income okay the next one is expenditure on purchase of shares bonds securities etc is also not included in national income according to this method why because these are merely transfer of the financial assets okay there is no corresponding production of goods and services but if 
commission has been paid on these transfers as a brokerage, then this brokerage will be a part of national income. Okay? So, children, you must go through these concepts of expenditure method which are included.